And welcome back to the second half hour of the Factor Uncensored. Our hearts are big at this time of year, but we want to make sure you're safe online while shopping for the holidays or giving to your favorite charity. We know this is the time of year when thieves are hoping to take advantage of many of us. Let's arm ourselves with the knowledge we need to keep them from being or keep us from being their victim. And joining us here on the Factor Uncensored tonight is Hillary Donnell, head of corporate social responsibility and public affairs at Aura. Hillary, you know, it is time, that time of year that I love, the ability to go out and shop, shop for your friends, your family, your loved ones. But there are always people looking to take advantage of you, especially online. Just this week, I received a text saying that I needed to text some information to the United States Postal Service for mm -hmm. a package that I needed to pick up. I'm like, the, the U.S. Postal Service never texts me. But yeah. you have to always be thinking, because there are a lot of people out there, uh, Hillary, hoping to commit cyber crimes. Yes, there are. There are. Americans actually lost almost $7 billion to wow. cyber crime last year. Um, so it definitely shows that that scammers are becoming more and more sophisticated and, and the holidays especially are a time that Americans really need to start kind of watching out um, for some of these scams. And of course, during the pandemic, they had nothing but time to think of many ideas and how to take advantage. And many times we would get the phone scams, the old school phone scams that would target many elderly people. But there's no age limit now. They will go after your children, your teens, whomever have, they have that communication device. Yep, absolutely. Scammers will follow the money, so they are going to take advantage of any opportunity they see um, to to introduce a new a new way to steal your money. And Hillary, what are some of the bigger bigger scams or more popular scams that are going on right now that we can make viewers aware of so they can take the necessary precautions? Definitely. So you mentioned the shipping tech scam. That's a big one that we see year round, but we definitely see an uptick um, around the holidays because like you said, scammers know that families are buying presents and sending gifts um, to family and friends. Um, and in this example, you might get a text that says you need to update your information or click a tracking link to verify your delivery. Um, but the goal is that the scammer um, will access your device using that link. So when you click the link, it'll install malware on your device um, and it'll allow them to monitor your activity, steal your information and get your credit card details. Um, another example that we see fairly frequently are special deals or promotions, especially around Cyber Monday and Black Friday, um, that might take you to a fake website um, and encourage you to buy a product that is, does not exist. Um, and again, the goal is to steal your information or steal your credit card details. Um, and this could be, you know, while browsing the web, or you could you could happen upon this scam via social media. Um, so you might be browsing Instagram, find a product that you're really interested in, purchase the product, only to find out that product never ex never arrives or exists. Um, and that would be heartbreaking. Ugh. It would be. Can you imagine, um, you know, sitting around the holiday table and saying, I'm sorry, I don't have a gift because it, it never arrived. Um, so that's another big one. And then the last one that we see a lot around the holidays are charity scams. Um, people trying to kind of take advantage of those of us who want to do good. And in this example, you might get a phone call or an email requesting a donation. Um, they might be pretending to be from a charity that either you've never heard of or that you, you know, well, um, but you want to make sure that before you make a donation, you verify that that charity is legitimate. You can use a third party website like Charity Navigator or Better Business Bureau's Wise Giving Alliance to verify its legitimacy. And then you should make the donation via their official website listed on that page, um, not make the donation via whatever email you received or, or to the person on the phone. And grandma and grandpa are no longer just using those flip phones or the landlines anymore. So how can you as a family member make sure they are not falling into that that trap as well? Do you check on them? Do you say, mom or dad, did you get any kind of text messages you're unfamiliar with? What? How, how should we handle that? 
You know, that's a really good question, especially because our older family members tend to be a little bit more trusting than the rest of us. Um, so talking about scams that you're experiencing is a really great way to help them avoid them. Um, you know, telling them, just like you said, I, I got a text from USPS earlier today and it was a scam asking if they've ever experienced something like that. Um, and then just kind of talking through some of the other things that that we've talked about today and and making sure that they're aware um, that they exist and that they shouldn't, you know, inherently trust um, what they're seeing online or on their cell phone. All right. Hillary Donald, head of corporate social responsibility and public affairs at Aura. Thank you for your wonderful advice here on the Factor Uncensored tonight. I'm sure our viewers can use it.